y'all this is molly k hope everybody is well um i want to share with you a really important story about the progress of the dollar dump and the economic collapse because these things do impact us and um you know it it has an impact on inflation it has an impact on everything from homeowners and car insurance to life insurance just everything is connected and um our leaders are lying to us so we just need to try to connect the dots as best as we can so that we can prepare for what is to come and we will not be stuck with these worthless dollar bills all right so china sells almost 50 billion dollars in u.s treasuries in one quarter analyst says which is a clear intention to dump the U.S. dollar holdings on display. <clears throat> the world's second largest economy is steadily unloading billions of dollars in U.S. treasuries. New data from the U.S. Treasury Department shows China pared or paired its um, treasury holdings from 816 billion in December of last year to 767 billion in March. That's a quarterly decrease of 48.90 billion dollars. The chief Asia foreign exchange and rate strategist at Bloomberg Intelligence Stephen Chu says a clear trend is underway as China is selling both despite the fact that we are closer to a Fed cut rate cycle, there should be a clear intention of diversifying away from U.S. dollar, dollar holdings. <clears throat> the drop in China's ownership of U.S. bonds comes as former International Monetary Fund Deputy Director Desmond Lockman warns that a fresh trade war between the two largest economies is brewing. So we need to understand what that means for us. I know it sounds all, ooh, it doesn't impact us. Yeah, it impacts you. If they're having a trade war, it means the things that we consume from other nations, made in other nations, either they will go up, they can stop trading with us. And that includes things like food and medicine. Like you'd be surprised at how much stuff we consume on a daily basis comes from other countries, whether it's rice, flour, meat, um, components of medication, uh, eyeglasses. There's so many things that we take for granted, clothing, um, things that were outsourced and made cheaper in other countries and imported back to us so that we can consume those things are traded with us, cars, car parts, computer chips, computers, uh, phone components, all sorts of things that we don't even think about that we take for granted. If the trade war is on, it could mean that inflation hits and we're not able to afford those things or they just refuse to play with us. And so once they stop playing with us, we is in trouble. All right, so it says in a post on the Washington-based think tank American Enterprise Institute, Lockman says that both President Biden and former President Trump are drumming up punitive import tariffs against China. In addition to a 100% import tariff on Chinese electrical vehicles, Biden announced that U.S. will triple import tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum and double import tariffs on Chinese semiconductors and solar cells. So you're going to be buying the more expensive stuff because the stuff that's made in China, China and imported here is cheap. You know, that's why everybody got driving Kias because they're cheap and, and they're made better than American cars. Say they bet on gas. Um When it comes to these batteries and steel and aluminum and all the things like everything, the cost of everything is going to go up. We are not prepared for that. <coughs> Excuse me. So it says not to be outdone. Former President Donald Trump is indicating that he is if he is elected again, he will increase tariffs on Chinese electrical vehicles to 200 percent and will impose a 10 percent tariff on all U.S. imports. 
So even if it's stuff that's made by American companies and it's for, imported back here, you're going to pay more money for those things because they are made outside of the country. So what's going to happen is either stuff is going to be begin to be made out, you know, inside of the country, uh, nations, or, sorry, corporations will relocate or they're just going to be like, let's cut our losses, let's dip on America and let's try to get money from these other brown places because that's where um, the focus is shifting. The focus is shifting away from white Western nations. Their time is up. Their rule is up. And so the people who run the corporations now, you know, they're doing this little shuck and jive thing. At the end of the day, it's all orchestrated. But, you know, in order to make everybody debt slaves, this is just part of how things work. We are very codependent on stuff because we are a consumer driven economy. And so they're going to, you know, stick us because we need other people's stuff whether it's parts for your refrigerator, parts for your car, uh, building supplies, food, but everything is going to go up. So this is why you have to prepare. Now, while your dollar is still good, while your money is still good, go buy stuff, buy nails, buy, you know, building stuff, buy pest control stuff, whatever you see, buy stuff, buy while it's reasonable, but you know, I don't have to tell you to buy food and water, medications and things like that. Th things that you're going to need that will be astronomical. But even like for black people, uh, hair products, sisters love to go to the hair store and nail shop. Well, the Asians got the lock on that. So if they're going to be import uh, tariffs placed on things coming from China and Asia, guess what? That means our stuff's going to be impacted because we don't produce nothing. We consume stuff. And everybody consumes our stuff. I'm sorry, everybody produces our stuff. Or at least if they don't produce it, they have the supply chain on lock so that you have to buy directly from them. And the majority of our stuff that we use comes from Chinese, Japanese, Korean, you know, different Asian populations. So... Um, you know, we have to be aware of that and how those how those things will impact us in the future. So um, it says, according to Lockman, the increased import tariffs will likely prompt China to retaliate, leading to an escalate uh, escal escalation that would hurt both nations. Should have been uh, hurt both nations mean hurt the people because the nation itself ain't going to hurt just us people. Should a full-blown trade war materialize, Lockman warns that it will add inflationary pressure in the U.S. as Chinese companies increase prices to cover the additional cost for entering the U.S. market. Quote, the Federal Reserve is already finding inflation unexpectedly resistant to its interest rate increases. A new trade war would further the delay, would, would only further delay the start of a Fed rate cutting cycle depriving the country of a boost to growth. Well, we ain't finna grow anyway. Um, this thing is on its last leg. So anyway, I just want to share that with y'all that um, things are getting getting rough out here. Um, the trade war is about to amp up. So you got to get your stuff while you still can, while your money is still good. And um, while things are still affordable, because at some point, just paying for the bare necessities to live is all you're going to be able to do. And we don't know how long that will last. So this is why it's very important for you to put back stuff that you need. I don't care if it's cleaning stuff. I don't care if it's um, health and beauty supplies, if it is uh, food, um, you know, whatever, seeds, anything that you can use to sustain yourself as we go through these tough times will be, you know, you can't go wrong having them. Um, even things that you use to barter for stuff that you don't use, like diapers and sanitary napkins, um, you know, uh, pads, 
baby clothes, uh, anything that people will use that people are not thinking about that they want to trade for will be helpful. So spend your money wisely, spend your time wisely thinking about these types of things and don't listen to what these folks are saying because you're going to wake up one day, you're going to have money, it's going to be worth something, you're going to wake up the next day, you ain't going to have no money and everything's going to be like super high. Look at what happened in Venezuela, Greece, and a lot of the other countries, and look at how long it took them to get themselves out of that situation. Same thing is coming here, except for it's going to be much harder because we've been comfortable for a very long time, and we um, are not accustomed to not being privileged. So privilege is going away, and hard times are coming. All right, this is Marla K. Love y'all.